Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us take a look into add path variable annotation. Well, add path variable annotation is used on method argument to bind the value of URI template variable to a method argument. For example, look at here the code snippet. This is the hello world path variable method. It has a ID as a method argument. And look at here, we are using add get mapping annotation to map the incoming HTTP get request to this method. And you can see the URL you know hello word slash id slash name and id you can see here so this id is basically called uri template variable next we need to bind the value of this uri template variable to the method argument so in order to do that we use add path variable annotation and look at here the response of this rest api in a screenshot over here so client basically uses this url to call this rest api that is localhost 8080 slash hello word slash 100 slash ramesh so 100 is basically a id ramesh is a name and this 100, 100 value will basically be stored in this URI template variable that is ID and Ramesh you know name is basically stored in this URI template variable that is name. Next we need to bind the value of this ID to a method argument right. So in order to do that we use add path variable annotation. Next let us see a few more examples in an action to understand more about add path variable annotation. So let's go to our project in IntelliJ IDEA and here let me quickly create a REST API that demonstrates the usage of add path variable annotation so here let us type public and then response entity as a return type so this is generic class let us pass book as a type and let us give a method name something like path variable demo all right next let us annotate this method with add get mapping annotation and let us pass the uri let us say slash books and then slash id all right next in order to bind the value of this id to a method argument we should have a method argument right so here int id next we need to bind the value of this uri template variable with this method argument so in order to do that we we'll use add path variable annotation next within this method Let's have a system dot of println and let us print this id. Okay, next let's create a book instance over here. Book book equal to new book. All right, and then book dot set id and then pass id. And next let's have a return statement. Return response entity dot okay and then pass book object. Perfect. And look at here, we got the compilation error. It says create a constructor with no argument. So here go to book class and here let's quickly create a no argument constructor. Public book. All right. Next, let's go back to our REST API. All right. Now we have used add path variable annotation to bind the value of this URI template variable to this method argument. Next, let us rerun our Spring Boot application and let us see how this REST API works. So from here, I am going to stop and rerun the Spring Boot application. Well, this is the GET REST API. So you can use either browser or a Postman client to test this REST API. So I am going to use Postman client. So here, let's create a new request and then HTTP GET and then the URL is HTTP localhost 8080 slash API slash books followed by the book ID, let us say 1. Okay, next click on send button and we got the response. It contains ID 1. We haven't passed title description in the URL. That's why title description are null here. And we have passed 1 as a book ID. That's why we, we got the ID 1 here. Okay, next let's go to our code. And in a console you can see the book ID 1 is printed. Alright, it means the add path variable annotation is working as expected. Next, let us go ahead and let us see how to use multiple URI template variables in the URL. Right now, we have only one URI template variable that is ID, right? So, we can have multiple URI template variables. For example, ID and then title and then description. Alright. Next, in order to bind the value of these URI template variables to a method arguments, we have to use add path variable annotation. So, here First of all, we need to have a method argument, the corresponding method argument like string title and then string 
description perfect and in order to bind the value of this title URI template variable with this method argument we have to use at path variable annotation next in order to bind the value of this the description URI template variable with this method argument we have to use at path variable annotation next let us set title description to this book object so here book dot set title and then pass title and then book dot set description and then pass description all right so this is how we use multiple URI template variables in a URL next let us go ahead and let us rerun our Spring Boot application and let us see how this works so from here I want to stop and rerun the Spring Boot application well our Spring Boot application is up and running next let's go to Postman S client and here let us pass a multiple values in a URL for example here book ID and then followed by the book name let us say core java and then followed by the description let us say core java description and go ahead and click on send button and there we go in a response you can see book id book title book description all right so let us go back to our project in IntelliJ idea now we will see one more use case like let us say if the uri template variable name and method argument name both are different then what will happen so if the URI template variable name and method argument name are different then we need to pass the URI template variable name to the add path variable annotation for example here let us say the URI template variable name is title and the corresponding method argument name is book title next in order to bind the value of this URI template variable to this method argument we have to use add path variable annotation right but look at here the URI template variable name and the method argument name both name are different in this case we have to pass the name of this URI template variable to this add path variable annotation for example here we need to pass URI template variable name here otherwise add path variable annotation won't able to bind the value of this URI template variable to method argument okay perfect next let us say the URI template variable name is book description and the method argument name something like book description and if we don't pass this URI template variable name to the add path variable annotation then add path variable uh, variable annotation won't able to bind the value of this URI template variable to this method argument okay so let me demonstrate this as well so here let me pass book description okay next let us stop and rerun the Spring Boot application and let us see how this works so go to postman's client and here let us make this request again and you can see internal server error so let us see what is the issue so go back to IntelliJ idea and here you can see the error required UI template variable name book description and the method parameter type string is not present and you can see the exception missing path variable exception all right so it means whenever the UI template variable name and the method argument name both are different then we have to pass the URI template variable name to the add path variable annotation okay for example here let me copy this description name and go to add path variable annotation and here let me pass this URI template variable name here okay so this is how the add path variable annotation works now if I stop and read in the Spring Boot application and if I call this rest page this should work okay so let me go to postman client and let me call this rest API again and there we go you can able to see title description and there are no errors in a console all right so remember this is a very important point because in real time project most of the developer make this kind of mistakes okay so this is how we use add path variable annotation to bind the URI template variable to a respective method argument okay so this is all about add path variable annotation. Alright, great. I will see you in the next lecture.